Hi everybody, it's Kara, AKA The Principal Painter, and today I have a very special unboxing for you from none other than Captured by Radiance. They so kindly sent me this beautiful mystery box full of goodies and a diamond painting that is absolutely gorgeous. Any Jody Bergsma fans in the house? I got one from her that I'd never seen before and uh, I'm ready to share it with you. Also, told you I'd start wearing sassy t-shirts. Are you ready? Another fine day ruined by responsibility. Can I get an amen? Anyhow, enough of that. Let's get in the painter's place and I'll show you what I got. See you in there. in the painter's place. All right, so here is my box from Captured by Radiance. Um, this is a really cool box. It is their emerald box. They have started uh, introducing uh, mystery boxes and they, again, so nicely allowed me to choose a diamond painting to go in here, but they also pack in lots of goodies. Captured by Radiance is a company out of Winnipeg, Canada, and Tacoma, Washington, owned uh, by Deborah and Tamara. And they are, again, so nice. I did get another painting to unbox, and I was very, very impressed. It was a Dominic Davidson. It was called The Beach House. Uh, this one is, like I said, a Jody Bergsma, so I'm going to get it out. Oh, all right. And I'm going to put this off to the side. So in these boxes, you not only get a diamond painting, but you get some other goodies and they have to do with crystals. And I'm sorry to be reading, but I wanna make sure I get you all of this information. It says enclosed is, the title of the painting is Phoenix Rising by Jody Bergsma. Oh my God, you're gonna die when you see this. Um, you also have an example of our Emerald Mystery Box. The Emerald Mystery Box will include 160 by 80 diamond painting, mystery box with goodies, and $50 or more of crystal gemstones. Those of you that are into gemstones, these would be the boxes for you. I love crystals and gemstones. My father was a geologist. Um, I've always just loved pretty stones my whole life. I guess it's in my genes. Um, but anyway, uh, some of these, well, all of these, they have explained. And so I'll read a little bit. I'm not going to read the whole thing to you or you'll be bored to tears. But um, I'll show you. I've gotten these packages along with the diamond painting. I mean, this is super cool. So you get a diamond painting and you get some decorative elements that you can put in your house, carry with you. Um, you know, some people um, like the healing qualities of um, different types of, of gemstones. Um, and I will read to you what the girls from Captured by Radiance say about these. I got my Melly Machete out, so I hopefully won't struggle too badly. I'm trying to be safe and not flick my face with this powerful, powerful machete here. Oh my gosh, I guess. Well, you know, I always try to not cheat and get into these before I show them to you. Okay, so the first item, they've really bubble wrapped these. And of course, they're breakable, so I don't blame them. Okay, <laughs> I can't get it out. Hail, hail. Here we go. All right. Wow. This is beautiful. Okay. I believe, okay, um, let me see. I believe this is the moon-shaped bowl. Look at how gorgeous that is. I love that. Okay, so moon-shaped, okay. It says a very rare variety of the jasper a member of the quartz family. The ocean jasper is defined by the circular orb-like patterns that can be seen as green, brown, blue, yellow, gray, white, pink, or red. This highly energetic gemstone allows one the ability to combine their will with their emotions, pushing one to achieve joy, happiness, and emotional stability. So um, again, not only do you get these beautiful pieces, they explain what each of the crystal gemstones uh, does and its healing qualities. Okay, let's get into this beautiful, it's a velvety bag. And look at this, I've never seen a bag like this. How, this looks like Santa's bag a little bit. 
Okay, I got two items in here. Oh no, three. <gasps> Look at this beautiful bracelet. I love it. Oh my gosh. Okay, what's the bracelet? Purple fluorite is the bracelet. The gemstone is food for those who want a greater sense of self-discovery, greater self-confidence, and the ability to face challenges with courage and an open heart and mind. It is also known to be the crystal of protection that can help you ward off evil spirits, guide you safely through dreams, gain more focus, increase mental acuity, and deeper levels of thinking. All right, I'm going to put that on. I do. I definitely need some deeper levels of thinking. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that color. Wow, that is beautiful. Okay, another item. Okay, we, I think we have some hearts, and I know that the hearts are on page one. Now, here's the trick getting into these. Where do I start getting into them? Okay, Melly Machete, do your thing. Please, do your thing. We do not want the people to see me struggling. All right, I'm almost into this thing. Patience, patience, patience. I also don't want to scratch these beautiful stones. Okay, this is, put that down here. This is, look at that. That is gorgeous. I love the colors in that. Large heart. Oh, this is so much fun. I can't wait. These are going to go maybe with my jewelry on my dresser. This could go on like a table for, okay, I'm really doing this and I'm trying to speed this up but not cut myself. So patience, people. I, I, I got to be safe here. We don't want any bloodshed on the channel. No bloodshed. That would be scary and gross. All right. I'm in here, I think. I think. Can I pull it out? Oh, and oh my gosh, these colors are killing me. These, hint, hint, are some of the colors in the diamond painting I'm going to unbox. Okay. The small heart shape is a stone called Mexican lace. Crazy lace agate, also known as Mexican agate, is young in comparison to many other minerals on earth. Exclusively found in the area known of Chihuahua, Northern Mexico. This lacy agate, not, known not only for its stunning banded patterns, but its powerful energies as well. Crazy Lace Agate is commonly referred to as the laughter stone or the happy lace. Okay, I'll be carrying this with me because we all need some happiness and laughter, right? Um, it's balancing and protecting stone believed to ward off the evil eye, bringing joy and absorbing emotional pain. Its energy helps encourage concentration to complete goals and helps with focusing. Uh, it is said this stone promotes inner stability, composure, maturity, and its warm protective properties encourage security and self-confidence. I just love the colors in that one. Captured by Radiance, this is so much fun to learn about. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the larger heart, let's see what the larger heart is. This is called Moss Agate. Semi-precious stone that is green colored minerals throughout which look like moss and makes this gemstone very unique. When placing moss agate among flowers, they seem to be healthier and bloom brighter. All right, you can put this in your garden, all right? Uh, moss agate, and I need that because I'm a plant killer. Maybe this will help me. Moss agate is also known to help keep you feeling soft and stable and completely secure. No matter how much chaos in the world around you is churning up, for those people who just seem... Uh, to be forever at the heart of emotional drama or riding the highs and lows of manic mood swings, Moss Agate is here to soothe your soul. Oh my gosh. These are beautiful. I am loving this. Love learning new things. I try to learn something new every day, and I'm definitely learning about these gemstones today. These will definitely go in my house. I, those are gorgeous. Okay, now this I have been waiting to look at because this is a beautiful, look at this box. Oh my gosh, it looks like almost an Asian tapestry on the top of it. It's almost like a leather, I mean, it's beautiful. The box could be used as a piece of decor, no problem. Look how beautiful that box is. Wow, captured by radiance. This is amazing. Okay, fresh air. Your body needs refreshment from an oxygenated air generated by grass, trees, plants, and flowers. 
Spend time outside today, as near to Mother Nature's cradle as possible. Open your curtains and windows to refresh your home as well. I love that. And here is their, whoo, here is their business card. Captured by Radiance, and it has, um, it says your masterpiece awaits. I will link Captured by Radiance below. There is a Facebook group for Captured by Radiance, and there's a coupon code. Thank you, 10. So, um, yeah, go check them out. They have beautiful diamond paintings. I love that. And it's a little boy walking with an angel with a basket. So, obviously, I, you know, that's telling me I need to get outside. What is this? Oh my gosh. Okay, can we get some contrast that they can see? This is an eagle's head. Closer, up, down. It's an eagle's head. Okay, I'm gonna put the box here because it's gonna, you'll have to lean that up against something, but look at the intricate carving of that eagle's head. The eagle head carving is a uh, labradorite. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Named for where it was founded in Labrador, Canada, the semi-precious stone is known for its changing colors. So it is no surprise this gemstone is known as the stone of transformation, enhancing strength of will and inner worth. Labradorite, Labradorite, Labradorite is considered, sorry, say that 10 times fast, it is considered a tremendously spiritual stone, especially helpful for people who tend to overwork. It helps an individual regain energy while aiding the body and spirit in healing itself. In the metaphysical world, Labradorite is considered one of the most powerful protectors. The gemstone creates a shield for auras and protects against negativity of the world. It's said to temper negativity within ourselves as well. Oh my gosh, these are all just beautiful. Thank you so much, Captured by Radiance, for sending out this box. And these are examples of what you can get. Um, this is the emerald level bo uh, mystery box. I believe it's their mid-level box. I mean, my gosh, if this is the mid-level box, I hate to see what the top level box is. That is absolutely gorgeous. And you get this if you order one of their mystery boxes. That is very unique. I love that. Aren't those gorgeous? Wow. Okay, now that I have been ushing and gushing over these beautiful gemstones, let's get into this painting. It is by Jody Bergsma. Are we taped? No, but I need to use this to open it up. All right. Phoenix Rising. Oh, it's taped on one side. Hang on. All right. Phoenix Rising. This particular diamond painting um, meant a lot to me. Um, I love the symbol of the Phoenix Rising. Your box from Captured by Radiance does have their logo, your masterpiece awaits, their website, capturedbyradiance.com, which I will link. It does have, they probably can't see it very well, it is a square diamond painting. It's a 60 by 95, and it is Phoenix Rising by Jody Bergsma. That is gorgeous. I can't wait to see it. Okay, you get a beautiful organza bag that I love. You can reuse it uh, to hold your painting as a dust bag. That is so pretty. This is poured glue with a scalloped and surged edge that you can roll back, which I will be doing. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these stones so I don't hurt them to the side while we're unboxing this because as you know, I am famous for knocking things on the floor. Don't want to do that. All right. So let's roll this beauty backwards. Uh, the back of the canvas does have a very felty feel. Um, so, but it is pliable and these canvases are very high quality. I, when I unboxed that Dominic Davison, I was extremely, extremely impressed with the quality of these canvases. They are just, they're beautiful. And I want to, again, thank Captured by Radiance for sending this to me. Um, this is a big deal. Um, I'm, I'm thrilled. All right. So with a poured glue canvas, you can roll it back and zhuzh, 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 and it will flatten out momentarily. Let me show you uh, what other items you get. You obviously get the drills. Lots of nature colors in this one. Individual bags. Thank you, Captured by Radiance. Love individual bags. It is a square diamond painting, if I have not said that before. Here is your uh, inventory sheet. 51 colors with 
Looks to be four ABs in this. This will be beautiful. Phoenix Rising by Jody Bergsma. Is Jody Bergsma licensed with Captured by Radiance? She most definitely is. There is the uh, symbol for uh, the licensing and licensing information right there. Um, she's licensed by MGL Art. Um, so again, it's a 60 by 95, so it's a big one, but you're going to have to have a big one to get all this. I mean, oh my gosh, I love this. Also, instructions on how to diamond paint. I believe this is a sticker sheet. Yes, it is. It's a sticker sheet, so you can cut these out and put them on your containers. Um, the first column is the number of, of drills, your uh, number of colors you're going to have, which is 51. Middle column are your symbols, which you're going to match up the drills with to put on your canvas. The third uh, column is the DR, excuse me, the DMC codes. Can I be grammatically correct here? At the bottom is where they put their ABs. A lot of companies do put their ABs uh, at the bottom, and you can, it notes it by um, AB in front of the DMC code. So that is a very nice uh, inventory sheet. You do get a toolkit. Their toolkits are also in a beautiful organza bag. This is what you get in your toolkit. Lots of sussies. Wow, that is a lot, a lot of washi tape. You get obviously a roll of washi tape. I got, and this will be random, uh, I got a beautiful floral pattern on my washi tape. But look at the amount you get. That is a lot. I don't think I've ever seen that much. Um, you do get a diamond painting pen with a squishy for diamond painting comfort. I'm going to slide that right on there so you don't um, hurt your fingers. I always get calluses when I wrote because I was, I just, I hold pencils really hard. You do get a multi-placer. I believe this is a, it's seven placer. Thank you, Captured by Radiance, for having your multi-placers numbered so I don't have to guess. It is a seven placer. So you got your pen, washi tape. You do get a pot of uh, wax, diamond painting wax. Um, it does have plastic on the top and bottom, so make sure you peel that plastic back or you will get no wax in your pen. You get a boat with a funnel and you get pointy stabby tweezers. Uh, so please keep the sheath on. Do not poke your eyeball out. And you get a cover minder. This is, again, another stone that you get in these boxes. This is strawberry quartz. I don't think I've ever seen strawberry quartz before. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's a fairy. Oh, can they see that? It's a profile of a fairy. I love fairies. <gasps> That is beautiful. And that stone again is strawberry quartz. Cover minders, you peel the plastic on the top of the canvas back. You put this beauty on the top of it. Oh my gosh, I wanna start using this right away. You put this magnet underneath the painting while the plastic is peeled back. The magnets magnetize together and hold the plastic back so it's not flippy flopping all over the place. <gasps> that is gorgeous. I love that. Oh, 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 how exciting. Okay. And you also get um, another business card with their information, again, which I will link below. So how is everybody doing on this Thursday? I hope everyone is doing great. Um, again, go by Captured by Radiance's website. They're, they've got some new releases. This is one of the new releases, by the way, um, for them. But you're ready to see this. Oh, and I'm so sorry. Something got away from me. This is a four placer. So you get two multi placers in your toolkit. Let me get this back in the bag or it will be lost forever. There we go. All right. You ready to see this? I am ready to see this. Oh, it's a big boy, but you, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I love this. You have two phoenixes, two phoenix, two phoenixes. I'm not sure the plural on phoenix. Someone mentioned that in the comments below, if you know. Um, I try to be grammatically correct, but sometimes I mess it up. You have a lighter phoenix and a darker phoenix. You have a moon glowing in the background. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is absolutely gorgeous. Can they see it all? Kind of, we'll pan over it for you. <gasps> I love this. Jody Bergsma and Captured by Radiance. You have done it. <gasps> I love, again, I love the symbolism for Phoenix's Rising. There have been many times in my life when I have essentially tried or not tried to just 
burn my life down and I've had to rise from the ashes. And that's why I love the symbol of the Phoenix so much. This is a very different piece from Jodi Bergsma. I have not seen this one before. Um, I love her art. I love this one. At the top of the canvas, you can see, I can't stop looking at it. It is this, oh, this will be going up in our house. I love this. Uh, you do have the Captured by Radiance branding at the top. You do have a thumbnail at the top, Phoenix Rising, Jody Bergsma has licensing information and it is a 60 by 95 canvas. You have schematics on the top left and lower right of this canvas. At the bottom, you do have their logo your, or their, their motto, your masterpiece awaits. Oh, snap insurance. So if something happens, uh, Captured by Radiance will make it right and 100% satisfaction guaranteed, which is very nice. Um, you do have their Facebook and Instagram information. And what I have failed to tell you is their schematics are very unique. I will definitely be having to, this is a big one. Sorry, guys. I'm kind of having to manhandle it here. I will definitely be needing to flip this upside down because I, I'm not going to be able to reach. I'll probably, as always, start in the bottom right and work out. But the upper left schematic is right side up. The bottom right schematic is upside down. And that is because when you turn this painting upside down, or if you want to, to work on it, then this schematic becomes right side up, which is very unique to Captured by Radiance canvases. I love that. Oh my gosh, I love this so, so much. It is absolutely beautiful. Let's pan them into this canvas and we'll see where these ABs go. I'm gonna peel it back. Very sticky canvas. Again, another very high quality canvas from Captured by Radiance. Can you pan them into that drill field? Look how clear those symbols are. There is absolutely no mistaking what symbols are what. This is beautiful. Uh, it's stunning. I, I am just very, very impressed with this canvas. Okay, let's look real quick and see where these ABs go. There are four, like I said, ABs. One of them is a square. It is a white box in a darker square. All right, this is a big canvas, so you're going to have to be patient with me. Where is the white square? And it doesn't, there's, there's some here, but they have a check mark in them. So that's not it. I am looking for a plain white box. A plain white box. Okay, is it already eluding me? Seriously? Oh, okay, I can tell you this. Um, the fourth AB would help if I got them out. I'm so excited over this canvas, I haven't even shown you the drills yet. Okay, do they have all their ABs in one place? Let me see. <laughs> you know what? We're going to have to just get these drills out, and I'm going to have to see. I am so sorry. All right, let's flip this bad boy over, and I'll show you the color palette. Sorry, this is taking a little bit longer, but this is a huge canvas with all these beautiful colors. I'm just gonna lay the color palette out so you can see it and I will find the ABs as part of this process and we can figure out what goes to where. Like I said, a lot of nature colors. I'm so sorry guys, my brain is scrambled because of this beautiful image. Love the peaches and the tans and the browns. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm still looking for my ABs. Individual baggies, on the baggies, you can see the DMC codes, which is very, very nice. You just have to put them in a container. Uh, I put them in numerical order, kit up, 3031. There are several bags of that. 938, a couple bags of that. 3021, a couple bags of that. 934, lots of, ooh, we got three bags of 934. Trying not to take too much time. These are beautiful. All right. Let's see where my A, Bs are. 
3371. Four bags of 3371. You know you're going to have a lot of those darker colors on that background. Lots of cranberries and taupes and plums. So pretty. All right, we have hit our ABs. Not. Okay, we've got two of them. That is not an AB. Those two are ABs. Okay, so we got our four ABs. So here is your color palette. And here are our four ABs. We got three. Oh, I love 310 ABs. They're beautiful. Kara, what is an AB drill? AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It is a special coating put on these drills that make them shimmer and shine like no other and just makes them shim, shim, shimmy, shimmer just a little bit more. Captures all kinds of facets of light and color. So we got some gray there. We have an orange AB and we have a white AB. So those are your four ABs and that's what we're looking for on this painting. Now, on a painting this size, this isn't a lot of AB. So I'm really gonna have to hunt these down. I think I know where the 310s go and a couple of others. Let me scoochie this color palette over and we'll turn it back over. Now look for the ABs. Now that I have them, I know what they look like. Again, I'm so sorry. I was so captured by the captured by radiance of this painting that I almost forgot to show you the colors. All right, guys. Now you want to hang out on the canvas. You can't. You can't. All right. 898. Go back to your home. All right. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Again, this is so big. Okay. So we are now looking for Okay, so the check mark is 5,200, and I can tell you where that is. Wherever you see these white boxes, well, the white boxes in the sky, they really stand out. That's where the, this white AB goes. There are some in this phoenix's wing in here. There are none in this phoenix, but they're just sprinkles, like stars in the sky. There are down here. They're all in this background. Everywhere you see this lighter white is where these are going to go. So it's like specks of sparkly in the sky. There's some down here in the Phoenix's tail feathers. You're gonna see those. Okay, so that's where this one goes. That's 5,200. Okay, let me put that to the side. We have got now, we've got 741, which is, I call it the TP. And I'm sure this goes somewhere in this Phoenix's feathers. Okay, yep, you're gonna have some right in here in the Phoenix's feathers. I knew there was gonna be some orange in there. Let's see where else. There's some in the moon in here, in the moon. Uh, I think that's all because there's, there's really not that much of this orange, okay? Next we have 318, which is the letter C. It is great. You are going to have it fanning out in this Phoenix's feathers. All in here. Any other? Some down here in the tail feathers. Sorry. Right down in here. Um, again, and some in this Phoenix's tail feathers. I'm sorry, the same Phoenix. It's the, the, This one is so big, it looks like two. But yeah, in the tips of the feathers of the phoenix, okay? So the other AB is the gray. What did I do with my gray AB? Really? I've done it again. Okay. White AB. Oh, well, we've already shown the white AB. I'll find it in a minute. Uh, this is AB 318, and I believe that is the one, yes, the... Um, 318. No, I've already shown you 318. Which one haven't I shown you? 310, I've done 741. I've shown you all of it. I'm still looking for the 310. Okay, that's what I haven't shown you, is the 310. Again, I'm sorry. I cannot. I'm tongue-tied today. All right, that is the white box, and it is the black AB. So we're looking for this one. Let me see. Okay, you've got it in the Phoenix's eye. You have it um, over here in the Phoenix. Are there any in the night sky? I don't see any. Again, uh, well, there's more of this, so there's got to be more somewhere. I am looking for 310. 310, 310, where is it? Oh, again, it is a just a plain white box. Is this going to elude me? 
I see it again in the phoenix's eyes, this phoenix's eyes. Hmm. Again, it is a kind of a green background with a plain white box. I don't see any more. Is it in? Okay, there's some over here in this phoenix. I see that. Is there any over here? Yes, okay, it's going to be sprinkled throughout the feathers of this particular phoenix. That's where I see it. I don't see any more, guys. Um, if I do, I will find it while I'm diamond painting. So that is where that 310 goes. All right, guys. I know I've taken a little bit longer, but this was a beautiful box. Thank you, Captured by Radiance, for sending this to me. Go check them out. This is one of the new releases from Captured by Radiance. Um, can we take the phone and do a pan over? Can I see it all pretty much? Okay. Wanted you to get the full view of this gorgeous canvas. And again, thank you, Captured by Radiance, for sending this beautiful box to me. I love all of the stones in it, um, everything about it. It's absolutely gorgeous. All right, guys, that's what I've got for you on this Thursday. I hope you have a great uh, start to your weekend, and I will leave you with this. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. This is The Principal Painter, and I am... Signing off.